I'm standing at what used to be Orchard Hills Golf Course. We are transforming this habitat back to a more natural state. Reforestation, wetland and stream restoration, and meadow enhancements just touched the surface of our efforts. Come out to Orchard Hills Park and witness the transformation for yourself. Defense, which defendant want to make any statement, Mr. Heidel? On behalf of my client, uh, he will express that um, he, he's sorry for the tragic death and brutal murder of Dan out here in Geauga County. He maintains he was not involved in it, and he's ready to proceed for sentencing. But it uh, doesn't take away from the fact that uh, the tragedy that took place and more than a tragic brutal murder uh, by Mr. South and this young man. But he wanted the court to know he still maintains that he was not guilty of this. And I believe he may address the court at this time. All right, Mr. Rosebrook. Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to. Uh, Address to the Hot family, I'm truly sorry for the loss and tragic and ordeal they've been through in the past years. And, uh, I'd like to apologize to my family for everything they've been through. And, uh, I'm truly sorry this whole ordeal took place, but I still maintain my in innocence. Thank you, Hunter. All right, then, uh, the state of Ohio. Your Honor, on behalf of the state of Ohio, we did file a sentencing memorandum, which we do stand by. Um, I think we've addressed everything in, in the sentencing memorandum as to why we are asking for what we're asking. And what we are asking for is a 13-year sentence for the uh, gun specification, as well as the kidnapping of Marianne, Marianne Ricker to be served prior to and consecutive with the life without prison, without the possibility, life without the possibility of parole in prison uh, for the aggravated murder. And the reasons we are asking for that, because of his, uh, Mr. Rosebrook's history, he was in prison at the time for attempting to hire somebody to kill somebody else when this murder took place. His history goes back beyond that, but he does have a history of uh, manipulating the system, not adhering to the rules and regulations, laws of society, and we do believe that this is the most egregious, the, most, the worst form of the offense, and life without parole would be the only thing that is uh, applicable to Mr. Rosebrook here after he served 13 years prior consecutive. Thank you. Well, doesn't uh, count two carry separate counts back? No, no. No? They all merge. Okay. All right, then. Uh, yeah, excuse me, representative of the family would like to speak. Oh, all right, thank you. This is Lee Royale, the father of Dana. All right, well, let me, let me pause. Sure. Sure. Yeah, can you step up to that podium, please, Mr. Ryan? Thank you. Joe, this family does not accept your apology. She put this family through hell, especially Mary Ann Ricker, okay? And my wife, Linda, my daughter, she took the life of our son. We live with it every day. And I hope you spend the rest of your life in prison. And I sure hope you behave yourself. I hope you learn your goddamn lesson. That's all I got to say. And I'll spend the rest of my life thanking law enforcement, prosecution, all the detectives, especially Detective Better back here, that worked so hard and the love and support they show and all the detectives for our family. We appreciate it. Thank you, Detective. That's all I have to say. I'll spend the rest of my life thinking about these people. Won't think for one moment about you, Joe. I just hope you behave yourself. You took the life of an innocent man. If you would have served 10 years and served your time, Dan, Dan would have hired, probably hired you and give you a second chance at life. But you pulled all this crap, so no mercy for you. That's all I got to say. Anyone else on behalf of the victim? No, Your Honor, thank you.